on everybody, it's Doom Cold, bringing you guys another insane gameplay from Doom Adrian or by Adrian Lowe. I bet a lot of you guys that clicked on this video were just assuming that it's clickbait and are waiting to see what the catch is. Well, believe it or not, this is a 100% legit. Doom Adrian was miraculously able to obtain seven. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deatomizer strikes in one match, which I'm just mind blown still. And it doesn't even end right there. Adrian was playing a total party of four or five and his other three or four teammates amassed seven nukes themselves for a grand total of 14 deatomizer strikes in one single game. Now, if that isn't the craziest thing you've ever heard in Call of Duty, I really don't know what to tell you at this point. This world record gameplay definitely deserves a like on the video. And I don't want you guys to just click the thumbs up. You guys need to destroy that like button. Drop a nuke on it because this gameplay really does deserve it. In fact, this is such an insane gameplay. We're going to sweeten the deal with one of the best giveaways I think we've ever done on this channel. For every 500 likes, this video gets and every 250 subs you get Adrian on YouTube we're going to give one person either comments on this video or comments on Adrian's most recent video telling him that doom sent you a $20 PSN Xbox or Amazon gift card so this video gets 2,000 likes and you guys get Adrian a thousand subs that's eight different people that could win right there and you never know this gameplay could blow up super huge we could have a lot of winners potentially it really just depends how much love you guys show in the video we're really doing this to thank all you guys that continue continually support our channel even though we don't upload as often as we should the main reason I know I say this almost every time is our main priority in doom is to provide you guys with the most impressive and entertaining videos we can possibly create so if we feel like you know a video isn't up to standard we won't upload for a few days because we want to make sure that the video is as best as it could possibly be so hopefully now that most of you guys have probably finished entering the giveaway or whatever let's talk a little bit how doom Adrian was able to pull this insane world record off all right so just to give a little bit of a background he is playing ground War Defender on the map Scorch. So this is definitely one of like the best maps in Ground War, I think. I haven't played Ground War too much myself, but it's actually one of the modes that makes Infinite Warfare kind of enjoyable, you know? Because there's so much action going on, there's so many people to kill and stuff like that. And yeah, Defender, I think, is one of the best modes to play as well, because it seems it can last pretty long, but the thing is, is this game didn't even last as long as it possibly could have, because the other team didn't pick up the actual ball once. So basically, when one of the teams that are holding the ball like the the timer stops and just the score goes up so just imagine if the other team was actually trying to pick up the ball then the game could have gone on way longer and who knows how many deatomizer strikes total they would have been able to achieve but i'll also show his class setup on screen of course he's using the raw solar powered which i think everybody knew when this gun came out it was basically going to be the best pub stomping weapon like i said in the other raw gameplay that we uploaded by adrian the mobility with lmgs and in infinite warfare is almost identical to like an AR or something and the reload speed especially when you use dexterity you know the perk dexterity with it on LMGs is just super quick as well so it's like you might as well use an LMG because you have 70 bullets in a magazine and there's basically no real trade-offs when you're using it so it's just basically like an upgraded AR and I'm pretty sure like these guns are banned and competitive for that reason so obviously you know when they brought out a nuke variant with the raw I think it was pretty safe to say that it's going to be the best nuke variant so if you're still going for like your best nuke or you're just trying to get nukes more reliably then I would definitely go for this weapon I'm not sure if it was one of those limited at time weapons where it's only like a week thing but I'm pretty sure for the whole entire summer event for infinite warfare you know like this the special summer supply drops or whatever you can still get this weapon so if you haven't hopped on and tried it at, by now I definitely think it's worth a shot he's obviously also using rewind so as I'm sure a lot of you guys know that just allows you to go back in time and regain your health and refill your ammo so obviously so that's really good for getting nukes. That's what pretty much most people use at this point, I think, when they're going for nukes as well. And then in terms of score streaks, you guys can see he's using UAV, Vulture, and Advanced UAV. I know with the Advanced UAV, he's got the, the Hater, you know, perk on it or whatever, or the Hater variant where it, it updates in real time. And I'm assuming the rest of his team is using that as well. I mean, that's clearly the best variant to use. It's, it's in my opinion, the best score streak in the game overall. So if you're going for nukes, or you're just going for high kills or whatever. You're just trying to do well in general. That's honestly probably probably the best variant that you want to use. I'm not entirely sure like what variants he's using for the Vulture and the UAV. I would imagine he's using like the, the longer lasting UAV or it looks like it's sweeping pretty quickly so it could be the faster sweep. But the only thing that really matters is that Hater score streak variant. I don't know the exact term but it's basically the one where it updates the enemy's position.
position in real time. Actually, as a matter of fact, if you look at the people's uh, calling cards that show up like near the top right, it'll tell you what type of UAVs they're using. So I'm seeing that Adrian's using the UAV kickback. So I'm not sure what that actually does, but if you guys look in the game, I'm sure you could see it's the UAV kickback. And then I think some of his teammates are using some different kinds. So if you want to know, you can see in the top right, it, it says whenever they call one in or when somebody destroys it or whatever. So if you're super curious, and I, I think it's called the advanced UAV overseer is the hater variant as well. So if you just wanted to know that, there you go. But also one thing, if you didn't know, kind of another background is that Adrian was the first 30th prestige in Infinite Warfare. So he's definitely one of the best Infinite Warfare players, hands down, in my opinion. He's accomplished so much. It's actually insane. And I know a lot of people always ask in the comments all the time, like, oh, if I play on Xbox, can I join Doom? All this, are you guys PS4 only? And Adrian actually is in Doom and he plays on xbox so that just goes to show that it doesn't matter which console you play on like i said before you can even play on pc if you're really good like we don't discriminate against consoles around here so adrian is definitely holding it down for the team on the xbox side of things because he just pulls off the most insane things and another funny thing is i bet a bunch of people who clicked on this video just assumed that it was going to be some sort of like full party spawn trapping gameplay or maybe some people didn't even click on it because they just assumed that because for whatever reason doom gets this negative stigma that oh all we do is spawn trap and oh that's all we can do even though we have so many players that don't even do that like there's a select few of us that actually do spawn trap and stuff just because you know that makes the game fresh for us it's a different style of play and we play like so much call of duty that we're just trying to keep things fresh whatever possible so doing different things is what makes call of duty continuously fun for us but there are some people on the team that are actually completely against spawn trapping and don't like it and that's perfectly okay you know either one way or the other like i can see arguments from both sides personally I do so you guys can hate me if you want but it's just another fun way to play honestly and like I said it keeps the game fresh for me sometimes I don't do it all day every day that's not my thing I'll do it here and there but it's not fair to it attach that same hatred towards everybody on the team just because a select few people do it you know so you guys should definitely give Adrian some more props for that he was playing in a party of five I think I see now so it's not like he's com playing completely solo either but they're definitely not spawn trapping you know he's not just in one area the entire time killing him the same spot obviously you know when people are dying so quickly and they're spawning right in front of them there's going to be instances where he's killing a lot of people in a short amount of time they keep on spawning near him but they don't have some elaborate spawn trap set up where he's just sitting in one spot you know so you guys should definitely give him some more credit towards that because to be perfectly honest, I did not think that a Hepta Deatomizer would be possible without spawn trapping. Like, if I would have saw the title of this video, I probably would have thought the same thing, to be honest. So I guess I can't necessarily blame anyone for thinking that. But because of that, I think Adrian deserves a lot more credit for it. And it makes me wonder, like I was saying earlier, if he had, like, a full party, what, like, what amount of nukes he could get? Because, you know, when you're playing in a full party and stuff, you can try to tell your teammates, yeah, like, yo, let's try to let them have the ball. Or even... Even in an extreme circumstance, like in Defender, you could have your teammate get the ball and then run it to like an enemy and throw it at the enemy and hope they just hold on to it, basically. And that way you're kind of forcing the game to go longer. I don't know. If he did something like that, I, I couldn't even imagine the amount of deatomizer strikes that he would get. Also, you know, there were people I think that stayed in the game maybe the entire time or maybe people are going in and out, but I know he wasn't playing against nine people on the enemy team the entire time. So obviously it's, it's almost impossible to have these perfect circumstances where you're gonna have as many people to kill for the longest amount of time but i'm just thinking like in back in older call of duties it seemed like getting like seven or eight was the absolute maximum unless you were like hardcore spawn trapping them you know killing them literally the the millisecond that they spawn back in the map but in this case it seems like you know he could have gotten at least like 10 you know if the game would have lasted a little bit longer in terms of the enemy actually picking up the ball or whatever so that is just absolutely nuts to me it makes me kind of want to get on ground war and kind of try that out or just you know even just play ground war more in infinite warfare in general but the main issue i think with call of duty recently is that it's just so difficult to get people that connect to a lobby or have people stay in the lobby that it just kills the fun because i know i played infinite warfare a couple weeks ago i think when the the maps came out or whatever and i was trying to play ground war and it's like whenever you start doing well everybody just leaves so it's kind of unfortunate and there's not like a, a big enough player population where people are going to join back you know pretty quickly so you're forced to play against like two or three people and when you've got you know nine people killing two or three people it's obviously not very many kills to go around for the whole team and it sucks because you can't even play ground war in black ops 3 anymore i don't know why they took that out or if they ever plan on even 
returning it back to the game i'm not really sure but it's kind of sad because like back in the day in like mw3 even like probably black ops 1 before that and black ops 2 like ground war was like i don't know maybe i'm biased but it seemed like ground war was the mode that everybody enjoyed playing that's what like most people played and it was super active and then whenever ghost came out like on the old gen consoles they didn't have ground war on those old gen consoles it was only new gen and then obviously you know on the new gen of ghost there weren't very many people playing because there were still lots that stayed on like 360 and ps3 or whatever so the ground war lobbies kind of died in ghost and then advanced warfare i hardly played it i'm not sure what happened to the ground war in advanced warfare or even if there was ground war, I'm, I'm sure there was but i didn't really play it so i couldn't really speak about that and then in bo3 they put ground war separate from you know like the core playlist which i think most people is that's what they go to initially they put it in a separate like bonus slot so i don't think as many people you know go down and look at that so ground war kind of died in these last few call of duties which is kind of unfortunate because that used to be my favorite mode i'm hoping in world war ii that it makes some sort of resurgence because if you guys played world at war ground war which is you know, a long time ago a lot of guys probably didn't play that but ground Ground War and World at War was the absolute shit. Like there was this mode called War, which was different than the war that's gonna be out in this World War II game, but it was like, it was the craziest game mode ever. You know, the spawns were pretty good that you would always spawn around the objective. So it was super action packed. All the maps worked really well with it. And I don't know, a lot of people seemed to enjoy it. It was super fun. And I really just missed that because like when you play 6v6 on the smaller maps, obviously it still has a lot of action and stuff, but nothing compares to the amount of action that ground war has like it's just so much fun and like black ops 2 for example if you ever tried going from like ground war playing like raid domination ground war to then go to just regular domination 6v6 on raid it's not the same you guys will know what i'm talking about if you've played it so it's kind of cool to see ground war gameplay again by adrian and as you guys can see at this point all the nukes are going off in the game there's gonna be tons of them like i said earlier 14 of them and they're just basically taking turns calling them in at this point. They're spamming the right D-pad to try to get theirs in first. And honestly, when I first saw this gameplay, I thought Adrian got a Hexa, so six. And I, I wasn't even paying attention at the end, you know, I just figured because usually when people start calling their nukes, the other team starts leaving and you can't really get kills because, you know, the nukes are going off constantly. But I wasn't even paying attention and Adrian actually is able to pull it off at the end and he had to tell me. I was originally going to do this video and say it was a Hexa, so thank gosh for Adrian. He told me, he reminded me that it was a Hexa or, I mean, I guess he opened my eyes to the fact that it was a Septa, I should say. And when he told me that, I was like, wait, what? Seven? I, like, like I said earlier, I, I could not believe it at all so i'm just gonna say it again make sure to leave a like on the video make sure to subscribe to adrian every 500 likes this video gets and every 250 subscribers adrian gets on his channel we're gonna be giving away a 20 dollars gift card of your choice make sure to leave a comment down below we'll respond to a random comment every time it hits one of the goals and if you leave a comment on his channel make sure you say doom sent you we would definitely appreciate that greatly and right after you guys see the final score at the end here you guys are gonna be mind blown by the final score but after you see that i'm gonna show you guys all the medals and the xp he got because i didn't look at that until way after either and i was just like you guys will see in a sec how crazy it actually is but once again just want to say thank you guys for watching the video thank you for sticking with us we're gonna try to bring out the best possible videos we can like i said before trying to up the quality in whatever way we can so if you guys have any other ideas or any other challenges you want us to go for anything like that if you think there's something like super impressive that you think would be really Really difficult to do or I don't even know you guys you guys can think of whatever you want you can give us any type of suggestion we'll listen to it to be honest because we're definitely trying to always think of ways to reward like our most dedicated subscribers so for all you guys that have like the notifications on you know the bell or whatever we're definitely gonna be coming up with ways where you guys will be rewarded I've got a few ideas already I think I might sneak one in a video here soon so if you guys are paying close attention you might just get lucky I'm not gonna try and give away too much but all I'm gonna say is that the most dedicated viewers will probably get a reward one way or another because when we do these giveaways obviously we want to reward the people that are the most supportive you know that only makes sense right so definitely be on the lookout for that this gameplay is finally wrapping up this was a super super long gameplay as he shoots down a robo dog over there it's funny at the very end here I don't know 
All these people are using that stupid Robo Dog Specialist. I don't know who told them that that was good, but hey, I guess that's why so many Deanimizer strikes were dropped on them. You guys are gonna see the final score here in a second. I think he spoils it a little bit by bringing up the scoreboard just a bit. But I really want to know how the hell do these people have all these stupid Robo Dog things? Do you not like lose it completely if you die immediately after using it? I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. But as you guys can see, he ends off 258 and seven. 258 kills and he's only using a vulture as a lethal streak which obviously the vultures are really not gonna get that many kills I don't know he probably got over no, he most definitely got over 200 gun kills and now just take a look at these medals and stuff it is just absolutely insane never mind the fact that I think he got 90,000 XP just flat and then to double it up and get a hundred and eighty thousand xp that is just absolutely crazy he got a hundred and two unstoppable medals if you don't know what an unstoppable medal is it says right there it's every kill after thir a 30 gun streak so he got a hundred and two of them that's just absolutely insane i don't know guys hopefully you enjoyed this legendary gameplay like i said please leave a like and a comment would mean the world to us go check out adrian's channel he's a legend and i will talk to you guys soon with another video all right peace Thank you.